Uh, UC Merced has a triple zero uh, goal, so by 2020 we expect to uh, have zero net energy, uh, which means we'd be producing as much energy as we use over a year period. We also have a goal of zero landfill waste, and uh, to get to that goal we will be doing composting and also improving our recycling on campus. We also have a, a net zero greenhouse gas emission goal by 2020. We currently compost our food waste from the cafeteria and the DC. Uh, we transport uh, pre-consumer and post-consumer waste to a, a 30 yard open uh, container. And uh, that's done with a truck and a lift gate. But we're now switching to using an electric tractor, which uh, reduces our greenhouse gases. So what we got to work with from last year's team was a 1948 BFA Green Model A. Uh, it's a three-wheel tractor, you know, where stable stability is not the greatest on it, but uh, they ran great during their time. You know, you have an electric bars, 15 horsepower motor, the power by four batteries wired in series to give you 48 volts. To power or to charge the batteries, we have a, uh, two solar panels, uh, ET solar, running at 290 watts apiece. We're putting in, you know, pretty good charge time to where it should take about three hours to charge the batteries when you're in uh, full, fully drained. To charge the panels, we're using a Morningstar. Uh, charge controller which really just controls the voltage coming into the batteries and also the amperage. Uh, it reduces it down to where we're not going to fry the batteries and you know whatever is ex excess it just releases it as heat. All the tractors I've ever driven are on dirt. It actually rides really smooth on track or on pavement as compared you know to what I've, I'm used to. During the lower RPMs it does wrap you know vibrate a little bit but as once again, so over a thousand RPMs, it actually smoothens out. No, no vibrations in the panels. No vibrations on the seat. It's a real smooth ride. And uh, under load, we're with towing the trailer. It's actually still really well. You got a good balance of power to speed. I believe solar kits are feasible. Um, they're not too high in price. You know, it's a manageable cost. 